Number 39, a sphere of mass 3 times 10 to the minus 4 kilograms is suspended from a cord. A steady horizontal breeze pushes the sphere so that the cord makes a constant angle of 37 degrees with the vertical. Find letter A, the push magnitude, and letter B, the tension in the cord. So this is our sphere over here, and we have a cord here, and we know that the cord makes an angle of 37 degrees with the horizontal. And now we can draw our free body diagram, and there are only three forces acting on the sphere. So we have the forces of gravity, we have the breeze over here, so we are going to call it FB, and we have the tension on the cord. Okay, so let's call it just T. Okay, so we have the information that the sphere makes a constant angle, because the cord makes a constant angle, so the sphere makes a constant angle as well. So we can notice that the acceleration of the sphere is zero, so let's remember Newton's second law equation, so the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration, and we can notice that acceleration in this case is equal to zero, so we have that the sum of the forces is equal to zero as well. So if we sum the three forces, the, the, the sum of the forces should be zero. However, we don't have the forces in unit vector notation, so we can work with different coordinates separately. So we have to choose our coordinates, coordinate system over here. So let's say to the right is x and upwards is y. Okay, so we can see that the tension ha has two different components here. So we have one y component, let's call it ty. And we have one x component, let's call it tx. So tx is equal to t times the sine of the angle, and ty is equal to t times the cosine of the angle. Now we can use Newton's second law equation for each component separately. For example, in the x direction, we have only two different forces. We have fb, and we have minus tx. Why minus? Because tx points in the negative direction of our x-axis, so fb minus tx, and this should be equal to zero because the acceleration is zero. As for the y component, we have ty minus fg because the gravity point, points downwards, and this should be zero as well. So we have those two equations, and then we can find the push magnitude, which we are calling Fb, and we can find the tension which is equal to T. So let's just replace Tx and Ty by T sine or cosine. So Fb is equal Fb minus, sorry, Fb minus T sine of the angle is equal to zero, and we also have the T cosine of the angle minus mass times gravity, which is Fg, is equal to zero. So the things that we don't know in those equations are Fb and T. So we can notice that from the second equation we can find the tension in the cord, so that's the first thing that we're going to do. So the tension in the cord is equal to m times g over the cosine of the angle. The mass is 3 times 10 to the minus 4, gravity is 9.8, and we have the cosine of 37 degrees, and this calculation over here is equal to 3.7 times 10 to the minus 3 newtons. So that's the value of the tension, and this is the answer of letter B. So this is the answer of letter B. Now that we have the value of T, we can find FB from this equation over here. So FB is equal to minus T sine of the angle. So Fb is equal to 3.7 times 10 to the minus 3 times the sine of the angle, which is 37 degrees, not 10 degrees. 37 degrees, and this gives us 2.2 times 10 to the minus 3 
newtons. So this is the answer of letter A.